just, you know, I don't think I need to see someone who has been twice impeached and is a disgrace and a one-term president with 91 counts facing him. I think it legitimizes him. I don't need to be gaslit by Trump. We all know who he is. We all know what he stands for. We also know that Biden debated him twice and just like sort of mopped the floor with him. If you look at any of the studies, yeah. every Ameri most Americans that watched it thought that Biden won, not only on policy, but on demeanor, especially. Does this person have the temperament to be the president? We know who Donald Trump is. I don't think you give him that type of platform. But I also, if, if Biden flubs. Yeah. They'll go, be all over him. If Trump flops, if he doesn't well, show who up, cares? they'll be all over him. But here's the thing. A lot has happened since 2020. January 6th hadn't happened. Donald Trump needs to have to stand next to Joe Biden. And Joe Biden needs to call him out on the unfitness because the reality is we but all at this lies. table. You know? I would say he has at this table, it. we all know who Donald Trump is. Nearly 80 million people voted for him. They need to see the juxtaposition of the two. Yeah, but you know, they're 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 Sonny Hostin's concerns about providing a platform to Donald Trump shared by some progressives, reflect the prevalent polarization in today's political landscape. This perspective tends to rationalize Trump's political influence. Alyssa Farah Griffin's raised concerns about biases, Joe Biden's acknowledgement of a double standard, and Donald Trump's situation don't necessarily align with this viewpoint. Public reception of Biden's perception may lead to frustration. Joy Bahar expressing unease, about potential partiality in reporting, suggests a call for genuine journalism and recognition of media framing's influence on public sentiment. This subjective evaluation parallels Joe Biden's past remark about moping the floor, with Trump in a debate, highlighting how interpretations vary based on political orientation. Scrutiny of media's role in shaping public perception, the impact of bias on politicians' image, and the resulting democratic narratives about media environments require thorough examination.